Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you tonight at this wonderful, wonderful event. It's a CD launch of our very own Johnny Davids, and it's a wonderful opportunity to be part of this tonight. We want to welcome all our viewers across the world that is tuned in to Life CBN. A warm welcome we want to extend to you tonight. And we want to thank you for joining us and being part of this amazing venture. As Amazing Grace Cape Town, South Africa, let's just give our audience, television audience, a wonderful welcome. Just put your hands together and just give them a nice clap. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege tonight to welcome to the stage one of our very own Johnny Davids, a man who needs no introduction, a man that his voice is synonymous with sport on our TV channels and with our radio uh, uh, channels, as well as a television presenter. But tonight, in a different genre, a man that is also known as the winner of the Zing competition, one of two, the Dio that won, Vivian, and uh, Johnny is still continuing and he's doing a great job with ministering God's word through song. Um, a man with an amazing testimony, a man with an amazing story. And tonight it's my honor and privilege to invite him to be part of this great event. Johnny Davids, come on, sit us on by mekaar for us eie, Johnny Davids. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you so much for once again inviting me to this wonderful ministry. And uh, from my side, also welcome to all the viewers. I can stand up and speak with them. Afrikaans and English. I'm so picky Zulu, but I'm not from Nanti. I'm from a different stadium, so I'm so picky Zulu. It's a privilege and honor to be here tonight. Um, I've been from Nanti so far, and I've been here with Isaac, and I've been here with Benson, and with Kevin Merlick. It's a big deal for the great span of the part of the team. And we're going to be here on the 7th of October to officially launch my very first solo gospel album in the Swer Groot 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 Alle eer en alle dank en alle prijs aan die Heere Jesus Christus die een wat jy nooit sal begewe en nooit sal begewe Die woord van die Heere sê in die eerste psalm dit gaan goed met die mens wat nie die raad van God en die Heere volg wat nie omgaan met sonders nie as die vreugde in die woord van die Heere vind dit dag en nacht oordink want sien hy is soos een boom wat geplant is langs waterstrome wat sy blare nie verweld nie dit is die Heere Jesus Christus wat ons dien hy sê in die selle besalm spiek die later in besalm 91 dit is al sy engele opdracht en die beskerf waar jy ook al gaan hy gee jou die kracht hy gee jou die moed hy gee jou die sterkte om op slange en aders te trap, hy slange wat vir jou probeer aanval hy mens wat jou achter jou rug praat wat in die rug wil steek, hy gee jou die macht die moed en die kracht om op hy slange en hy aders te trap elke roemlik is die Heerde met jou pastor het gesê dat ek het een wonderlijke steeds maar die gaat nie vanavond vir julle vertel nie baie van julle ken het vanavond so wat ons vanavond wil doen as as een ensemble Ons wil net flow, ons wil net sê so.
gebeur, Jesus, baas, de Chantel ook gister, my vrou gesê het, sê vir die duivel, sê vir die vijand, en sê bek vir die slag hou. Die Heere Jesus het een sachte plek vir kinders, dus kom ons een woord te sê, dat die kinderkies na my toe kom, en verhinder hulle nie. Dis tyd dat ons as gemeenskap moet opstaan en kaapstaat en die vijand recht het in die hoog en die sê, so sê die Heere, jylle gaan nie onze kinders van ons al wegvat nie, en gaan nie daar al begin nie. Dis kom ons vanavond van die, jylle jylle gaan nie lus sê, en Heere, we are giving you praise to my Lord Jesus, we give you praise. eerste ou wat ooit dier die klankgrens gebrek het in die vliegtuig. En na die tyd, het hulle toch een onderhoud gevoer en gevra, maar hoe het jy dit gedoen, hoe het jy dit recht gekryk? En al die ouwens wat voor jou dit probeer het, het jy geslaag om dit te doen. En hy sê net, net voordat jy dier die klankgrens gaan, as jy in jou vliegtuig sit, dan skit die ding so, dat alles rondom jou, die wereld om jou val uit mekaar, uit alles skit en alles bewe, en jy voel, jy wil moed opgee, jy voel, moet ek die spoed net so bykie minder maak, met een 700 mil per uur, is geen grap nie, dis meer as 1000 kilometer per uur, alles om jou voet, en het gaan rof, maar as jy dier die klang genoeg gebrek het, oef, as is so kan, En jy wonder by jouself, ek was nou aan die ander kant van die groot geskit. En nou is ek hier dier. En nou is ek ander kind. En nou is daar kalmte, terwyl ek op hierdie spiet is. En is het nie waar dat elkeen van ons in ons levens, as ons dier die storm gaan, die makkelijkste manier wat ons kan het doen, is om moed op te geef. As hy vliegtuig so skit en alles rondom jou voet en het gaan rof, het gaan rof. Dan gee ons moed op. Ons wacht nie vir as ons dier dit gebreek. En iets wat baie prevalent is ook dat, wat hierdie persoon ook vir my gesê het, is dat voordra, voordra een breik through kan kom, moet daar eens een breik out kom. Een breik out van hy is hy eie ek 
hy breek uit van hy self discipline wat hy daar is en ek het so paar aantekene gemaakt the break out of negative thinking the break out of insecurities the break out of fears hier is die belangrike een the break out of past failures hy dinge wat jy teruggehoud wat jy in die verlede gedoen het the break out hy break through the gekom en die break out die break out van die van where you come from wat is jou familie naam hy dinge wat ons hier terug hy break out die break out van en ek het een van my vriende hier geloor depression depressie en hopelessness hy self defeating mentality as God sy deurbraak kom beteken het sy is line of defense is been destroyed is been shattered die eneste ding waar ons kan ons kan vast hoe laat ek kan vast hou is die joy of the Lord the joy of the Lord is my strength you see because if you lose your joy
Welcome, we are in Amazing Grace Ministries here in Peril, here in Cape Town. Those of you that's from America, we don't have lions in our streets. We've got a Lions rugby team. We've got a Springbok rugby team that loses all the time, but don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm originally from, from the most beautiful country ever in existence. I'm from Namibia, Golfers Bay, Namibia. Beautiful town. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. It's beautiful. We have come here in our church. I come from the old AGS before I now in the old AGS. We have come here in the Christian community. In the Christian community, we have the old heart. We have Janet Gauw van Jijg. Mensen, as they come here, they come here and they come here and they come here and they come here. But Jan, Jan had a, a small little thingy that he was struggling with. Jan, he, he still he spoke five. He five thingy. No, Jan is so far as as his worship so honest. He's not so far. As worship so honest that he just cannot. As the people he brings here, not so just the people he. Jan 
dit doen, trek je stoel mee uit. Hy het al so tien rand dood in sy sit gehad. En die ouwe langs was rand uit, so die ouwe sit, Jan, Jan Brand, dat is hy daai. Jan, Jan Brand, dat is hy daai. actually speak English. I'm just for the people out there. It's just I'm just playing. Role playing, you know what I mean? So I can I can actually speak proper English, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Nubia and there we speak English as well. So I'm I'm just joking when I'm when I'm telling you guys all of this, you know. <laughs> so but you need to bang to tell you the aunties can and uh straight for the dear I know I song spill of you for the dinner for the alcohol. Dit laatste ene vertel, nou was die antigaat, sê, as sê, en ek in die pastoor sê vraag, nou was die kruis gewees. <laughs> die kruis. Oeh, hy het het ook gehou van jy gehoor. Want jy, jy, hy het ook vir jy gehoor, sê, en dat, en, jy loop ek toch as, as op die van hierin, want die kruis sy onder, sy, sy reek. Skiet, poep. En so sê, jy, 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 staar, ek was seker sak, hier het in hak. <laughs> en die broer wat daar sê, die broer wat sê, En toe sê nou later voel my, something is not right. Ja, kijk soos af. Maak soos af. Laat hierdie song. Woe, as die kruis gaan my, die gaan my baie kwaad is vir my. So hierdie song het ons ook die voorrecht gehad om op te neem. Ons gaan een music video hierdie van maak ons die voorrecht gehad om, dit is een goede jere is, Ek het nou die ouwe week werk vir Koela, hulle gaan sien hulle, en ek vraag vir hulle, wil jy nie vir ons, wil jy nie vir my moes, vond ek vir ons, en ek sê, sonder te aarsel, ek sê, ja, ons moet ons moes, en ek vraag toe net vir die sang iets al vir, maar, wat kost die moes, en ek sê, nee, die video wat ons vir julle gaan maak, is om 50 duizend, en ek sê, dit is net die heer, die heer, is ons, en so, ons gaan die music video maak van hierdie, ons allemaal met ons gestaan, en ons moet die, 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 ons moet die percussion, die drommer wat erbij kom, en die bys gedaan is, maar ons gaan vanavond die song van die trekkers van Oombik, soos die daar heel eerste ene die song wat ek ook self geskryf, Trevor die voorrecht of ek het die voorrecht, ons sal met Trevor hierdie song op my album op te neem, so die song sê naam ons Oombik, soos die ek kom nie wat ek hoor nie, ek nie ken, ek gaan vir jou bring my oor nie ek wil ek maar daar so wel sport op my dank nie, raad, hy gaan so Bye. 
altijd van bloed en bloed hier op mij
Pastoor was 100% hierdie man is die beste saxofoonspeler in Suid-Afrika. Ongetwijf. Dames en heren, meneer Hendrik Isaacs. Wow. Nee, ek maak nie seker, mens weet nooit, ons moet nie weet. Ek en Heinrich het die besonders voor die gehaard om die collega by die koot te probeer die ene koot laat ons sy gedenkdienst te gaan speel en laat hy ons ook met vraag, kom hier die man na, ek sê, ek wil ook nie waar die man is. Ons stap al lang vir sang, wie kan ek close af haar session na na? Dit is nou wat my sang is, het is just
gaan oopskeer en die heerlijkheid van God op en daar sal word Heere van aand wil ek net vir jy dan dat er een dag is waarna ons kan uitkijk wat er dag sal het nie wees wanneer hy kom op die wolke van die wolke kom ons luister te by die aan jylle vir speel I just feel the presence of God is in this place Halleluja Halleluja Ek vloe vanavond is dit een oomlik You've come to see a concert You've come to meet and to listen to some songs But I believe that God is here tonight The Holy Spirit is here tonight And I want you just for a moment Just for a moment Because this is a divine appointment That maybe you came into this place And maybe you are watching us right now and you look at these people and you say to yourself, but what, what's, what's wrong with them? Why, why do they raise their hands and why do they sing these songs? But you know, friends, you only sing when you're happy. You only sing when you're happy. You can sing sad songs, but real songs are sung when people are happy. And when his eyes is on the sparrow, his eyes are on you tonight. That's why you can sing and be happy. Maybe you don't have a song. Maybe you can't sing. Maybe tonight you are just feeling down and out and you're feeling tired. But if you listen to the music and the songs that John has sang, I realize there's something to sing about. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he's there, I know there's hope for me. So dit maak nie saak oor hoe jy voel vanavond nie, dit maak nie saak oor wat jou emosie en jou gevoel sê nie, want jy sien nou emosie is een onbetrouwbare ding. Vandag is hy onder, morgen is hy boe. So you can't rely on your emotions, so when you are here tonight and you are just singing a few songs and you're feeling good, it's unreliable. There's something that must be rooted deep down inside that gives you that excitement to sing about. You know what, this guy, I met him many, many years ago in a small church where I ministered. When I heard him play for the very first time, God gave me a word in a church that I wasn't ready to prophesy. But God gave me a word saying that, you know what, over here, you say. Jy kan speel, maar jy moet net onthou. Jy speel nie net vir my nie, jy speel vir my vrou. O ja, o ja, dit was jy dan. Dit was jy my baas, dit is my daan gesê. My vriend, my vrou vraag baie uit na jou. En jy is die eerste man wat ek voorgestel het aan my vrou wat seks jy vrouw. Kom ons sit, and let's just sit back in the presence of the Lord. God is a true, he's faithful over his word. You know, I can't tell you what it does to me, what I'm going to do when I'm going to do when I'm going to do as I'm going to do on Facebook and as I'm going to do this man has his own ensemble and, and God has really taken him to the greatest of greatest heights but you know what I appreciate about this man about all of these guys Trevor Benson, Hiri Owens is all people they are top class musicians but if you look at them Johnny Davis and the team here tonight they are humble they are good at the way to the top but it is in their heart Ek kan nie naar jou kop toe gaan, if it's in your heart. It's gotta stay in your heart. Ek kan nie wacht nie vir my
think it's time tonight to admit the truth. Please tell my wife I taught you to play that thing. Wow. You know, there's nothing as powerful as music. Johnny, for now, look you see by it, Uncle. I'm so proud of you guys. I can't tell you. I guess I guess that Alex I'm nobody, but I come a long way in the Western Cape, and I could sound with Bayer once I pack the stuff. And I've seen how their talent just goes to their head. Stay true to you guys. Huh? Stay true. What you see, friends. As jy, as jy die muziek hoor en jy hoor wat hulle sing dan weet jy hoe moet die hart doen en ek kan nie anders vanavond as om net vir een oomblik stil te staan ek wil nie vir jou preek nie want het sal nie dit recht verder Johnny gaan sy CD longs ek wil net weet is daar CD's beskikbaar al vanavond nog nie ek is jammer om vir julle te sê daar is die CD's vanavond but this is what I want you to do. And there is it on. 7 October. The 7th of October, the 7th of October. You tell everybody that you possibly can to be here that night. So we played it down a little bit because we didn't know what to expect tonight. But just by playing it down, I said, okay, cool, he means he is, then I don't want to know if we're really going to go out and advertise this, but we, we really want you to come along. And ek wil hier met die aan geld samper. En die geld wat jy samperen, gaan jy een CD van hierdie ouwens koop, and you're going to purchase their music. This is our people. This owns a mensen. This is the talent that we have, and I'm so proud tonight to say to the world, who ever will watch this, and who will ever continue to watch this on the recorded version of this, that will be rebroadcasted. Whenever you watch this, my friend, I want to tell you that this is what South Africa has to offer. That's why I believe that revival will come from the tip of Africa and that will burn into Africa and to Europe and the rest of the world. I truly believe that with all of my heart. Now don't you dare to make a phone call to try and make these guys famous. They are famous already. They belong to this nation. And if you want to invite them to come and play, you will pay in dollars or in euro or in British pound, but when you pay in a foreign currency, you first talk to me. Forget about that man and finances. Talk to me. Church, I truly believe with all of my heart that this is the time where God is preparing men and women with a message of hope to the hopeless. Right now, the world is falling apart. And I want to tell you, maybe you are looking at South Africa and you have all sorts of things to say of the negativity and maybe you've canceled your trip to come to South Africa because of violence and crime. But let me tell you, in the midst of the storm, there's still a song that's going out from this nation into a dying world. You will never silence us. You will never get us to keep quiet. We will still have a song in our hearts that we will sing. A song of freedom that will ring from this nation to the rest of the world. We are not afraid to say that we have a song to sing. We have some of the finest musicians in this nation. You've heard a fraction tonight. But you can place your orders and you can order this music. We are not a country that plead poverty. As a matter of fact, my friend, we are more rich than the rest of the world. Because you see, when there's only a fire burning, there's a song. 
where there's only little food on the table, there's a song. You see, when there's no money to put in the tank for petrol, there's a dance and a song. Because our people look for a Sunday to come to church and worship God. And if you are here tonight, you can sing. They can come here to be walking. You know, I've seen many people dance before God. It's so different. I've been to many countries in the world that had the privilege of ministering the gospel there. But you know, when I look at our own country, I'm brand my heart. Because nowhere in the world you will find something like this. If you are down and out tonight, if you are tired, you're feeling hopeless, I trust that you were encouraged by song. You know, I, I want to make a radical statement tonight. And I want to say, Kenny G, you better watch your back, brother. You better watch your back. Andrea Bocelli, you better put this name on your song list. Because these are the guys that I truly believe with all of my heart that will carry this flame of fire into the nations. I'm so honored tonight to say that with Life CBN we can take this gospel to the ends of the earth. I'm so proud to say that Italy, one of these days, it will be Vivere Italia as we will broadcast on the IS-20 satellite across Europe and across Italy. It will be my honor and privilege to say to Belgium and Netherlands, I will see you on the 1st of November, where we will have an opportunity to share this wonderful channel with you. But we've come to tell you tonight, without being arrogant but being confident that Jesus Christ is the only answer to your hurt and to your pain I said this morning when I watched the movie that really impacted my life in a great way I'm still digesting what I've heard I can only imagine but the music producer said to Bart he said these words he said son let your pain become your inspiration and I've realized that that was the only part of the movie that I didn't agree with because you see your pain can never become your inspiration your pain can become your motivation your pain can motivate you to say it will never happen to me again in my life and I will come out of this but you see pain cannot inspire and maybe some people can say, no, pain inspires me. But I believe that your inspiration should come from your motivation of what God has done in your life. I promise you when you listen to each one of these men's stories, they will tell you of how great this God is that we see. And maybe you are facing storms that comes like sea billows that roll on in your life. And maybe you are weighing up tonight the cost of your loss. But I've come to tell you tonight, whatever the cost, it can be well with your soul. So tonight, church, I want to encourage you tonight. What you heard tonight was the concert. This was just a motivation to get you to inspiration, to say there's hope. We are going to make our movie, Grijsgrond, We're starting in two weeks' time. We will work around the clock to shoot our first Afrikaans movie. And Johnny will play one of the leading roles. But that's not why I'm saying this. The reason why I'm saying this, friends, 
It's very simple. But we want to tell a story of hope. And out of this, I truly believe many people will be encouraged. What I know about filmmaking is scary. I had the privilege of attending film school thanks to my mother-in-law and my wife here tonight. But in my search to educate myself in doing this, I have realized that the brain is like a muscle. The more you exercise it, the more you can do. But I've always also realized that there's some limitation when it comes to man. And I have the privilege tonight to tell you that I can be a cinematographer or an editor, everything that I taught myself. But the reason why I'm telling you this story is because of one reason that a young, inspiring filmmaker, Swedish filmmaker, a young man by the name of Eskild Force, was one of, one of the leading filmmakers in Finland and in Sweden. This young man was a YouTube star and made some of the best movies, best, best short films across the world. And every time they would upload new videos and new videos and new videos. And I was a subscriber and every time a new video was released, I would go and look because he taught me a lot about filmmaking. But one morning, as I clicked on one of the videos, it was his co-presenter who came up. And he made an announcement. And he said, it is sad to announce that Eskild Force took his own life last night. It broke my heart in pieces. Because I realized, friends, it doesn't matter who you are, what you've achieved, or what status you might have. It doesn't ma matter what accolades and credentials you might carry tonight and what you may write in front of and behind your name. The question tonight is, it isn't well with your soul. And one thing that I realized tonight, and when I what I realized back then, many people can encourage us, many people can motivate us, and I promise you, many of the things that I've learned about filmmaking, I've learned it from this young man. But I never realized that this was a broken young man who didn't survive under the pressures of life. He suffered from depression, and you would never say that. I wish I knew. I wish I was one of the people that commented on his page that he had by telling him that Jesus was the answer. But everybody always encouraged him and commented positively about his skills that he had. And maybe you are sitting here tonight or maybe you are watching tonight by means of television or internet. And you are down and out tonight and you feel that life doesn't has any value, have any value for you anymore. I've come to tell you, it's a lie from the foot of heaven. There's hope for the hopeless. I'm going to pray a prayer, a prayer in a very short while and maybe you that are sitting here tonight, maybe you've come into this place and you've just heard a couple of songs. You've seen incredible talent and heard it. Deep down inside, you are hurting. But when you leave here tonight, you go into a marriage that falls apart, that's falling apart. Maybe you go back to a gangster stricken area. Or maybe you go home tonight where there's not enough food on the table. Where you didn't have a decent lunch. Silver and gold have I not. But what I have tonight, I want to give you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you tonight. For those of you watching by television, I want to pray for you tonight. I want to pray tonight that people will get to a place in their life where they will realize there's an answer irrespective of the challenges that they might face. 
you that are here tonight, Jai Bhaji is like what you say, Muni Mukhi. Never ever give up. Because if you give up tonight, you're making a declaration declaring that your problem is greater than the God that you serve. If you end your life tonight, if you decide to give up and make it put an end to your life, you are declaring that the God who created this universe has failed and do not have the ability to change your circumstances and to change your life. Don't you dare put your hand to your life. Because the God that I serve is able to lift you out of that mighty clay pit. I want to pray for you tonight. I want to pray that God will lift you up. That He will change your life around. Niks wat hierdie lewe ooit vir jou kan doen, niks wat die lewe ooit al aan jou gedoen het, kan het rechtvaardig vanavond dat jy opgee. Nothing in this life can take the credit for you putting an end to your life. You're not a hero. You will leave this earth with a message. God cannot solve all the problems. There was a time in my life when my life fell apart completely. Very few people know this. But when my life started falling apart, after 17 years of being in the ministry under all the pressures, going through a very difficult time in my life, I lost my family, lost my ministry. I've lost everything that I own. And I was up in the mountain just with my suitcase. On the one side was my shotgun and the other side was my suitcase. I look at the gauge of my tank and I realize it wasn't even enough to take me from the countryside into the city. And I looked at my suitcase and I measured it up to think to myself, after all these years, is this all that you have left? I heard a voice in my head that said, you will not make it. Life has failed you. The church has failed you. And I remember reaching out taking my shotgun, slowly but surely loaded it and shifted it underneath my chin. I looked at the mountains. And as I looked at the mountains, a scripture came to mind, believe it or not. And as I looked at that mountains, the, I heard another voice saying, as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so is the Lord around His people. Shivering and shaking, I shifted the shotgun. And that day I made a decision. Never ever in my entire life will I ever try something like that again. Because you see, if my life ended that time, I would have never had the opportunity to tell you tonight that Jesus is the answer. On the 6th of May, 1991, when I was in a motor car accident, they certified me dead on the spot. 20 minutes later, a doctor arrived and touched me. There was a very weak pulse and a weak heartbeat. They rushed me to Tigerberg Hospital. And miraculously today, I'm still standing. But you know, I always say when things like that, when I think back on the 6th of May, or whenever I drive past, past the spot that the accident took place, my wife gets irritated with me because every time I tell her the same story over and over again. Tonight is the 9th of September. But let me tell you a quick story and then I'm done. On the 6th of May of 1991, the message reached heaven that said, God, one of your soldiers will arrive shortly. 
You see, I taught demonology at the University of Western Cape way back then. I was driving on my way home when a car popped in front of me on the wrong side of the N1 on the highway and a head-on collusion occurred. And then Angel Gabriel said to God, God, I want to warn you now. I know, assure you know, but Karat will arrive any moment. God said to Gabriel, wait, wait a minute. This is my version. Just hold on, son. Hold on. I want you to go down to earth and I want you to go and wake that young man up for me. And I heard the devil say, no, 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 no. You don't understand this. Let me give you your own word that says it's destined for man's want to live and then to die and after that the judgment. So what you're doing right now, it's not according to your rules in your book. And I believe God turned to the devil and said, shut your face. So the angel went and just before he left, he stopped and he turned around and he said to God, God, sorry, uh, I'm not the one that normally asks questions, but... And I'm normally not the one who would side with the devil, but he's got some kind of point here. Why? Why are you going to wake this man up? Why do you want me to wake him up? Why do you want me to give him a second chance on life? Why? And God said to Angel Gabriel, you know, I'm glad you asked. Because let me tell you, and this you will never forget. You see, Gabriel... Gerard Kotzer messed up his life pretty much. But somewhere along the line, I see something in him that I can still use. You know, the world might not think that he's usable, but I know there's something small that I can use that can still lead somebody to me. But you know, Gabriel, there's something more to this because you see, I'm not actually... In my mind, I don't have today the 6th of May in mind. You see, what's actually in my mind, Gabriel, is the 9th of September, 2018. When a young man, Johnny Davids, will sing a couple of songs and some musicians will play music, that night, somebody will be in that building or watch by means of television that need to hear that I love them with an everlasting love. So I want you to wake him up because his mission is destined for the 9th of September 2018. So I'm here tonight to tell you that he loves you with an everlasting love. I'm here tonight to tell you there's no problem too big and God cannot solve it. There is no mountain too tall and that you can climb it. Because if he carries the weight of the world on his shoulders, my brothers and sisters, I know that he can carry you. I know this is my own version, but many a times I've asked God, why did you give me a second chance in life? I have the chance tonight to tell you, He will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never turn His back on you. He has never and will never. What problem you might have tonight, God can change and God can save you because He's God. So I'm going to pray for you tonight and maybe you are sitting here tonight and you know you are not living a life that's pleasing unto God. But you say for now, Gerard, I can hold you. And I want you to pray with me right where you are tonight. I want you to close your eyes and shut yourself off from the rest and focus tonight on God. And maybe you're sitting at home, you are watching tonight. you're hearing this message in clear terms coming to you tonight maybe it's time for you to pray with me tonight the Bible says if you believe in your heart if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart you will be saved although this is my words if you confess it tonight and believe what you are praying then God is true to his word he says he will save you because all those who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved so silently in your heart you can pray tonight and say, Lord, I come to you tonight in the name of Jesus. 
I confess that I'm a sinner tonight. I confess tonight, Lord, that I fall short from the glory of God according to Romans 3, verse 23. But I know tonight, Lord, that Romans 6, verse 23 says that the wages of sin is death. But the second part says the gift of God is eternal life. And I come to you tonight and I ask you for that eternal life. I ask you for the gift of eternal life. I confess that I'm a sinner and I ask that you would forgive me and cleanse me of all my unrighteousness I ask you tonight Lord that you will wash me from all my iniquities and cleanse me from unrighteousness I invite Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior into my life tonight because I believe you are a God of second chances I thank you, Lord, that through a very simple prayer like this one tonight, my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I give you praise and honor. I pray that you will help me, Lord, to stay true to your word and to trust you and obey you and never turn back where I come from. But that I will focus on you, the author and the finisher of my faith. I thank you now for saving my soul. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. May God bless you. May you take the message. May you not miss the next great moment of the CD launch, which will be the 7th of October. Do not miss it. Please remind me of it. But do not miss it. I encourage you to come along. And, Sylvia, it's free of charge. But bring your money because you will need it to buy a CD. And if you don't want to tell your friends, to tell it for Jesus. Want hij is nou bij. Johnny, Trevor, ik heb jouw naam gekregen met om te zeggen, jullie zijn mijn vrienden. Maar, want ik weet niet dat is dat ik een insult om te zeggen, is jullie vrienden. But I'm proud to be connected with you guys. En te kan zeggen, ik is trots om te zien wat jullie jullie hier hebben gedaan. Don't miss it, guys. 7th of October. Vijf uur die mara. Zes uur die mara. Wie geef vir my vijf, wie geef vir my zes, wie geef, oké. Zes uur die mara. Ons gaan het nie levendig uitsaai nie. So jy gaan hier naartoe moet kom, om het eerste aans te kry. Baie dankie vir julle wat vanavond gekom het. I believe you are truly blessed. Go 